Al-Qama bin Waqqas al-Laisi says that I heard Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu ala al-mimbar. He was standing on his mimbar and delivering khutbah. During his khutbah, he said, I heard Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, innamal a'malu bin niyyat that acts and deeds would be rewarded according to their intentions. All acts and deeds would be rewarded. The sawab, the reward of the acts and deeds would be given on the basis of the intentions behind the deeds. Niya comes before irada. Irada is will. When you make up your mind to do a certain act, it becomes irada. And the thinking which prompts you to irada, which becomes the basis of that irada, that will, which takes you towards irada, towards that act. And after irada is the act that is deed and then is the result and then is the ajr or reward so niya is the first thing where the story of act starts the intention an idea a concept a perception which you have in your mind why you are going to do certain act this is the beginning and the reward is the end of the whole story. So it means that the end depends upon the beginning and the rewards would be given according to the intention which prompted you or instigated you to perform a particular act. And he said, if anybody migrates towards dunya, he travels for dunya, worldly and material benefits to fulfill the material wish if anybody travels for this particular niya he would be rewarded for that it means that in his ajr he will get just dunya there won't be any spiritual reward for him and if anybody travels to get married with a woman so marriage would be his reward whether he gets it or not, but there would be no spiritual reward in his life hereafter. 